What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one's just going to be a nice short and sweet cover three beater. Uh, we're in the gun bunch tight end formation. Tight end corner is the play. You can find this in both the run heavy and the Miami Dolphins playbooks. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks who have gun bunch tight end don't have this play. But really, you can get this same concept out of any bunch or compressed formation. Uh, the key is to have three guys on the same side like this. So gun bunch can do it gun tight or tight offset tight end you can get the same look by motioning receiver over tight flex stuff like that really the main route combo that you need is you need the middle guy to be on a corner route because you can hot route the outside guy to an out route and then also what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fade the inside guy so the key is to have that middle guy on a corner route and i'm going to block kamara just for protection purposes but you're going to see we're going up against a cover three sky standard cover three with purple zones on the outside and you're going to see exactly what happens. I'll go into instant replay to kind of show you guys. But that corner route is just going to get absolutely naked against cover three, base cover three. It doesn't matter. Curl flats, cloud flats, hard flats. Obviously, hard flats aren't going to stop the corner out. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what happens here. So because of the new matching principles this year in Madden 19, what happens is uh, they play the, the whole, you know, out route, corner route concept a lot better this year. Uh, that's why, like, stuff like corner strike um, isn't as popular or as good as it has been in the years past because they actually play that route combo correctly now but we actually use that to their detriment in this case uh, because the out route it doesn't matter what zone this guy's in he's gonna jump that out route every single time so he's gonna jump the out route and so that leaves basically the corner route who now because of the matching principles the cornerback says okay I'm gonna take him so he starts taking him but what happens is because we put the inside guy, in this case, Ted Ginn on a fade, and you can see really the moment it happens where he's backpedaling, the middle linebackers backpedaling, they're bracketing, and then they break. And so what happens here is the coverage rules tell this cornerback, I need to get back inside onto Ted Ginn. And at the same time, he basically says, okay, now the linebacker has the corner out. So the corner out is now the linebacker's responsibility. Well, at this point, the linebacker's, you know, several yards behind this corner out. And so because he, he takes such a sharp break to the middle and because this corner out already has so much separation, you're able to throw this ball as soon as he basically breaks. And then the corner is not able to recover quick enough. And especially, I mean, that's Cameron Meredith out there. Not the fastest guy in the world. I usually like to put a guy with a lot of speed on that position uh, because if I know that I'm going to be seeing cover three, uh, then that has a high potential of being a one play touchdown. And it's just like a normal cover three beater. Usually, you know, it involves a fade or a post or something. It's basically a cover three one play touchdown, but this time it's a corner out and we're taking advantage of those matching concepts. So once again, you see right there, once again, if you get a nice rat catch animation and you're off to the races, it's going to happen every single time because of that outside cornerback jumping back inside uh, to the fade route. And that's why it's important to put Ted Ginn on a fade because he's going to kind of angle his route towards that side of the cornerback's field. And so that's what's going to make him jump inside. If you just put him on a streak, he doesn't always jump inside because the middle safety takes him. So you want to make sure you're putting him on a fade route. And this should be the behavior you get every single time right there. I had to throw it a little soon because of the uh, the pass rush, uh, but he was still able to make the catch. But if you have enough time, that's why I like to block my running back every single time uh, if I'm running this concept, because it does take a few seconds for him to get out there. Uh, but if he does get out there and you're able to get that time in the pocket, it's going to be money every single time against cover three. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.